In this case, we are given a parabola which is symmetrical about the x-axis that is y square equal to x and we are given 1.4,0 and we want to find out point on the parabola with on the nearest to the 4,0. So, let's consider here a point x, y anywhere on the parabola. So, the distance formula is given as x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. So, what we get is f is equal to, we can write another function is d square is equal to x square minus set x plus 16y plus 16 plus y square. y square can be replaced as x. So, entire equation will become in the form of x. So, we have f equal to x square minus 7x plus 16. So, we have x square minus 7x plus 16. So, this is a function in the x only. So, to find out minimum what we do is optimize this. So, we have derivative and equate to 0. That is 2x minus 7 equal to 0. So, we have x equal to 7 by 2. But we have y square equal to x. So, y square equal to 7 by 2. It means that y is equal to plus minus under root of 7 by 2. So, using this combination we can form two point. One point is 7 comma 2 and under root of 7 by 2. Second point is 7 by 2 minus of under root of 7 by 2. So, actually there is one mirror point of this x, y which is minus x minus y. So, in this case your choice C is correct. Now, we have similar problem but this time we have given a plane z square equal to x, y plus 1 nearest to the point 0, 0. So, this one is a plane. So, we will say let us say x, y, z be the nearest point on the given plane with respect to 0, 0, 0. So, we have a distance formula from this that is x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 plus z2 minus z1 square is same as under root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, if we redefine here one more function f to find out very quickly the stationary points we have x square plus y square plus z square. But we can very well replace z square equal to x y plus 1. So, we have x square plus y square plus x y plus 1. So, these are two variable conditions. So, with that we can be solved by using a stationary point of del f by del x and del f by del y. So, if we have del f by del x equal to 2x plus y. So, y is equal to 2 minus of 2x. Similarly, we have del f by del y is equals to 2y plus x. So, we can substitute in this one for the y. So, we get 2 into minus of 2x plus x equals to 0. So, we have minus of 3x equal to 0. It means x equal to 0. But using this equation, we also conclude that y is also 0 at x equal to 0. And from the equation of, we have calculation of z is equal to 1. So, the nearest point will be 0, 0, 1. A manufacturer needs to make a cylindrical can that will hold 1.5 liters of liquid. Determine the dimension of the can that will minimize the amount of material used in construction that you have to find out. So, this is a minimization problem and dimensions you have to find out. So, we have a cylindrical can of height equal to h and radius. So, it is holding a volume of 1.5 liter. So, we have volume is equals to pi r square multiplied by height h and this volume is fixed is 1.5 liters that is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. Now, this can is basically consist of the top area, one is bottom area and one is circumferential area. So, total material required will be 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h which is the circumferential area. So, what we can do is that we can replace h or r from this equation. So, we have 2 pi r square and we will going to replace h. So, we have 2 pi multiplied by r and h is replaced as 1.5 10 to the power minus 3 divided by pi r square. So, in this case one of the pi will be cancelled, one of the r will cancel and we left with 2 pi r square plus 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by r. From this equation we conclude here that area is a function of radius only. So, this is a single variable. So, therefore, we will differentiate area with respect to r and equate to 0 
for minimization or maximization that is optimization. So we have dA by dr equal to 0. So derivative of the first term will be equals to 4 pi r. Then we have a derivative of the second term. So that will be equals to plus 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 into minus of 1 by r square. So we can very well solve here for r. So we have r equals to 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon 4 pi and we'll take the cube root of this. So this answer will come as 0 0.062 meters. Now I'll put this value back into volume and we can find out the height h. So if you put this one, we'll get 0 0.124. Answer, answer are given in centimeters. So we have r equals to 6.2 cm and the height is 12.4 cm. So, so choice D is correct choice.